Hey guys, bringing you another do-it-yourself computer repair video today. I'm working on a Lenovo laptop in this video, and the problem I'm going to help you solve here is a no-bootable device error. Uh, you can see this a variety of ways, no-boot device, uh, hard drive not found, and anything like that where it's telling you that it can't find anything to load the operating system from, so it's stopping your computer from booting up. Um, keep in mind this could be software related, it could also be hardware related. Uh, but in Lenovo laptops, they don't come pre-installed with diagnostic software, so you can't just jump in and test your hard drive. So I'm going to show you a couple of quick software fixes that hopefully uh, will solve your issue. If those don't help, then I'm going to show you how to identify whether it is your hard drive or not. The first thing to do is to unplug all of your external devices, any, any flash drives or CDs, um, any external hard drives, anything that's plugged into your computer, unplug those and try booting up again. Sometimes the computer can get confused and it tries to boot off of an external device that of course doesn't contain an operating system. Uh, so that could be giving you your error. Maybe 10% of you, that'll be your issue. If that doesn't help, then we're going to go into BIOS and change some settings in there. So I'm going to hit power. And I'm going to start tapping on F2 right away for my Lenovo. One of the annoying things about Lenovo is that they switch up the function keys with different models. So if you don't use F2, uh, try F1. I've seen F9, 10, 11, and 12. So if, if F2 doesn't work for you, try your other function keys. So here in BIOS, the first thing I'm going to have you change, or, or check rather, is your date and time settings. So keep in mind when you're in here, you have to search around for these options. Don't just look on your main screen and then say that you can't find it. S search around. Right now I'm on the information tab and I don't see any date and time settings. So I'm going to arrow or tab over. Some of you can even use your mouse. So I'm going to arrow over there. And there's my system time, system date setting. Make sure that these are correct. If they're not, then correct them. Um, if system data and time is wrong in BIOS, it can create all sorts of problems loading up, uh, long story short. So if this happens repeatedly and every time you come in here, that needs to be fixed. You're probably looking at a bad CMOS battery. You probably have to swap that out because every time your computer shuts off, it, it's resetting this. Uh, so look below in the description to the BIOS reset video. That'll show you how to get into your computer and place that CMOS battery. So after you've made this change, shut your computer down, save and exit, and try rebooting. If that works, then you're good. If it doesn't, then we're going to try this. So now I'm going to have you switch between your legacy or CSM options and your UEFI option. So those are what we're searching for now. The same way we searched for the date and time, we're going to look through our tabs and find either legacy, CSM, uh, or UEFI. So I don't see anything here. I'm going to arrow over to the right on, under security. It's usually not under s security, but check around. I don't see it. Uh, boot. So there it is, UEFI. So again, we're looking for legacy, CSM, or UEFI. Uh, long explanation short, whether you're on UEFI or legacy, which can also be called CSM, whichever one of those you're on is going to depend on how your operating system was installed. And, and what you should be running on for the operating system to work properly. So right now we're on UEFI. Now it's possible this got changed somehow and messed up. So we're going to switch to whichever one it's not. So I'm on UEFI now. So I want to switch to legacy. And if you're on legacy or, or CSM, you're going to want to switch over to UEFI. And this is how you do it. So I'm on boot mode right now. So you can arrow up and down. So I'm on... UEFI right now, so I'm going to hit enter, and you can see the drop down comes up, legacy support, arrow down there, and hit enter. So that switches right over to legacy. Now again, if you're on legacy, then you would hit enter, and switch over to UEFI. Some of you may have drop down menus, uh, but how, however presentation you're seeing, you should try to change from one to the other. If you're in UEFI like me, it may not be possible for you to switch to legacy in some cases. You may see that option grayed out or it may be stopping you from doing that. In that case, if that's where you're at, I'll show you how to fix it. Go back over to the security tab and right here under secure boot, it's disabled. 
That's why I was allowed to switch back and forth from UEFI to Legacy. If you can't switch to Legacy, it's because yours is enabled. So come to the Security tab and disable that option. You may also see a second option to specifically enable Legacy. Um, so if you see both options, then set both accordingly. But that's how you would switch between those options. Again, save and exit. Try to boot your computer back up. If that works, that was your problem. If it doesn't work, now we've ruled out any issues with BIOS. Now we'll move on to your operating system, which is Windows. Try the other link down below for the reinstall the operating system fresh. Um, and you'll be able to do that for free. You won't have to buy any install software. If it, the install goes through perfectly and Windows works, that means it was your operating system that was corrupted and you fixed your problem. If your operating system doesn't let itself be installed, if it keeps erroring out, then we've identified uh, your hardware or your hard drive at this point as being bad because you cannot install an operating system onto it. At that point, check out the video link below on how to install a hard drive. And then of course you would have to install Windows onto that hard drive. So throughout this video, we've taken you through all the solutions between BIOS, uh, your operating system windows, or your hardware. Um, you will be able to fix this issue with this video. If something threw you, uh, check the frequently asked questions below. If you don't see it there, leave me a message. Uh, I do get back to you a few times a day at least. So hopefully this helped you out. Uh, please like and share if it was helpful and uh, please subscribe if you enjoy do-it-yourself computer repair. Thanks for watching guys.